Sandy, thanks for joining me here today. I suppose, first of all, looking back on the campaign, um, probably quite hard to, to sum up into words, I suppose, but um, since you've come into the club, just how, how did you assess that period of time um, from, from then until obviously now in the, the summer and, and what lies ahead? Uh, it's hard to take. Yeah, I, I was really enjoying myself in the club. I've got to say the, the league games. I thought we did okay. Uh, nine points from six games, but other teams round about us, you know, battled away as well. And one or two above us maybe didn't perform as well as we'd, we'd have liked. But uh, but we've not to blame ourselves. That's for sure. Uh, but it's in the past now. You know, it, it's, it's horrible. I still feel it. It's still a pain trying to even think about it, talk about it. But the. Uh, the, the choice now is as you give in or, or you move on and we're, we're certainly going to move on and, and try to be really positive in the, the season ahead and you know regroup and plan and, and, and go for next season Looking ahead Sandy the the tail end of last week there the Via Play Cup group stage draw was made um, a really tough one for us when you consider um, two championship and a, a premiership team in there with Kilmarnock um, Rafe Rovers and obviously Dunfermline um, and you throw an Annan in the mix as well it's certainly going to be tough but I suppose for yourself it's an exciting way to start the season and, and something you would rather have rather than not um, obviously now not within the SPFL but still being included in a, a really big competition with a lot of prize money and certainly something prestigious for players to play in as well Yeah, there's a, I think when you look at the choice it's a difficult to say the least uh, obviously come on a Premier League club uh, race overs challenging really well doing really well in, in the Championship of Fairman we're in League One decisively. Uh, all really good uh, good teams in Ireland who we played not that long ago uh, and also got promotion to, to League uh, to League One. So there's uh, there's no easy games here, that's for sure. But we didn't expect any easy games. But, you know, when you're in the bottom part of the draw, then you know it's something to look forward to. It's, you can showcase yourself as an individual and as a team. And uh, it is a great occasion to, if you do well, you get uh, you get noticed, put it that way. So. And maybe a wee selling point for maybe getting this, uh, some extra players in. Yeah, certainly, and I suppose as well in the, in the monetary side of things, it can always help. It can always help a wee bit if you get you get through, because actually, yeah. it's, it's a, I mean, even when you think about the, the the club recently, I mean, I can remember when, when we did quite well in the group stage. It actually really helped in terms of player recruitment and things like that. Even if you don't get out of the group, yeah. so it's certainly not a case of just turning up for the games and hoping that you, you don't get beat that kind of thing. There's certainly a, a goal there to even try and, maybe you don't go out of the group, but certainly try and not finish bottom, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, th- I think I think it's, uh, you know, when you look at the opposition, it's going to be difficult, but but you, what you've got to do is it, it gives you a kind of gauge to where you are, you know, how are your players doing, how you challenge the team. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to work out, you know, we're, we're short on players this, at this moment in time. Uh, Joel Bevan being the only one at the end of the season who was... Uh, still under contract in the club, so there's a, a massive rebuilding job uh, taking place, and you know we're, we're starting to work on that. And that'll, that's going to take time. I'm going to have to be patient to get there with it. Uh, but that that is certainly a, a you know an advantage point. The fact that you know we've got these really great games coming up, and and hopefully that'll excite the players that we bring in. Yeah, and just um, as you mentioned there, it's kind of the age-old thing in Scottish football, I think, it's especially the lower down the leagues you go, it tends to be you maybe sometimes need to wait a wee bit longer to get the players you want. Yeah. I suppose, for the fans at the moment, I suppose what would just be your message to them, and certainly I know behind the scenes that the recruitment drive started a long time ago, but obviously I think if, if people don't see see names on, on papers and guys yeah. with scarves above their head, they start to get a wee bit worried. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it, it's a it's a it's a very simple situation. You know that that uh, you know I've tried to keep some of the players that the that uh, were at the club last year. I still haven't tried to keep them all for obvious reasons, but uh, you know, a lot of players have obviously went back to their clubs. The the ones that I want to keep all want to play at a higher level, and I get that. But somebody's going to have to want you as well. I know we've lost one or two already to to league clubs, uh, but that that that's that's just the way the world. That's the football world. There's lots of players out there, there's lots of good players out there, there's lots of good young players out there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is, 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 is really be patient, make sure we get it right. Uh, so there won't be a lot of names hitting the, the, the headlines you know, in the near future. It's a, it's, it's, I'm speaking to a lot of people and I know what I'm doing with it, I'm going to take my time with it. I've spoken to the board regarding the, the situation that it's massively important and nobody panics, just be patient because I don't want to dive in and take the wrong people. Uh, I want to expend the budget that we've got wisely and I want to try and make sure we can compete as best we can against in a league which I know the league fairly well in the league I, you know, I had uh, been a bit months with Sterling so I know a lot of the teams in the league 
and I know there's a lot of teams who have got a, a massive financial cloud that we're going to be uh, up against, and that's going to be the challenge. Having having a lot of money doesn't make you a great team. Having the right group and having the right people working together, that's what makes a good team, and that's what I'll be aiming to try and do. I'll, I'll take time, uh, and the early part of the season will be a challenge. Loans, for example, will use that that situation on board, but. Uh, other managers are kind of loath to put their players out before maybe the window starts to close in, in August. So we might need to go a little bit short early on uh, with the plan of having a you know a stronger team, a stronger squad at the time that uh, the league season gets underway. So the the plans here, we know what we're doing. I think it's important from our fans' point of view to, to kind of be patient with me. Uh, I'm working really hard at Oris about my phone's red hot trying to get people. I've had a lot of rejections. I've got to say, I've got a lot of people that are really interested. And amongst that are, are a lot of good players, a lot of young players as well, who are, have got a lot of potential. So I want to get a group together. It's, there's going to be a team uh, that are going to work hard for each other and, and, and really fight for the cause and, and try to, to obviously do as well as we can in the, the league campaign ahead. Yeah, and just finally, um, obviously you mentioned you've had that experience of being in the Lone League with East Stirlingshire. Um, I suppose it, it is probably a hard question at the moment when, when we've been playing in the SPFL for so long, but we, we've got to embrace this challenge, I suppose. I mean, we can't go yeah. go to the Lone League and think we're better than that. We've got to enjoy going to these new places, new grounds, new experiences, new cup competitions, that kind of thing. It's, it's all about just going in there with the, the positive mindset, I suppose. Yeah, yeah you, you know, see, you know, you either get in here and you go, well, that's us, or, or you, 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 know, you take it on board and embrace it as you said and, and, and take the challenge on, you know, head on. Uh, I'm ready for it. I'm hundred percent ready for it. You know, I've not get I've not lost any man enthusiasm. I know George is the same and the, the people around about the club are exactly the same as well. It's a it's, it's a new situation and there's a lot of good football teams in the lower league. There's you know, it's not like the old days where, you know, it's your junior clubs and you know, kick lumps out you that kind of stuff. It's not like that. There's a lot of good football and teams who pass the ball well. Uh, a lot of them are invested quite a bit of money, as I said as well. So there's lots of different new challenges, but you know it's a, it's about you know for me being the best you can be, you know maximise the potential of what in the club, uh, and try to use the budget that I've got wisely, and, and you know be a strong challenger within the league, and, and hopefully we can we can work together, and that means everybody in the club, the board, the myself, the the, the coaching staff, the players, and most importantly supporters, we all pull together.